So the first reaction we're going to take a look at is the reaction between baking soda and vinegar. And recall, we don't necessarily care about you know, what chemicals are reacting. What we're concerned about in this first lab is the mass change or lack of a mass change. And so we're going to just carefully measure the mass of the chemicals we're starting with and the mass of whatever's produced after the reaction is over. And so that's our goal here. And we don't know what conclusions we can draw. Our job is just, you know, like all scientists, is to just take data. Uh, maybe if we can make a hypothesis, like what do you think is going to happen to the mass? And then get the data and try to make sense of what you find. Uh, okay, so let me begin with the experiment. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm just going to read along uh, what's written in the learning platform, and you should too. So the first step is measure the mass of an empty weigh boat and record the mass in line A. So you should get your materials, measure the mass of an empty weigh boat, make sure you set your mass balance to grams. Um, okay, so the mass of an empty weigh boat. And I'm just going to record my data kind of on a scratch, scratch piece of paper right here. And so this is in line A, so I'm just going to write A, and my mass is 1.94 grams. Great, step one. Now for step two, add one spoonful of baking soda and measure the mass of the weigh boat and the baking soda. I'm trying to keep the baking soda on here. So spoonful of baking soda. And this goes in line B. So I'm just gonna write B. And the mass of both is 8.19. For me, you will have your mass, which will be different. Okay. Step three, measure the mass of the empty flask and, reward, and, and uh, record the mass in line D. So here's my empty flask, kind of dirty from other experiments I've conducted with this flask, but that should be okay. And this is line D. So this is 118, 118.97. Nice. Okay, let's move to step four. Add about 25 grams of vinegar to the flask while it's on the balance. So I gotta do some math in my head. 118 plus 25 is 128, 138, like 143. Uh, so I want to be, I want the mass balance to read about 143 grams. Let's see if I can get that. And for this, if it's plus or minus five grams, that's okay. So you don't have to be exact here. So anywhere between like maybe 20 and 30 grams of vinegar. So I'm at 146. And it says, record the mass in line E. So I'm gonna write an E on my scratch paper and write 146.66. Okay, let's do step five. Combine the baking soda and vinegar in a flask and observe for signs of a chemical reaction. When the reaction is complete, measure the mass of the flask and whatever is inside the flask and record in line H. So I'm gonna take this off the mass balance. And let's combine the baking soda and vinegar. So I'm just gonna Dump the baking soda in the vinegar and just see what happens. And that's kind of cool. Just bubbling up. Let's record the mass of this stuff in line H. So 152.2. Two, two. Interesting. The last thing to do is do the calculation indicated in the table and fill in all of these values. So let's do that one, or I'm going to ask you to do that one later. Okay, so that first reaction was pretty cool, but I have a question. And the question is, some of the gas that we saw being produced in the reaction was lost to the atmosphere. If we were to somehow trap that gas inside the flask, how would that affect our mass after the reaction uh, was over? And so we can actually do that with a balloon. If we wrap a balloon over the, over the mouth of the flask before the reaction starts, keep the balloon there, uh, let the reaction proceed with the balloon staying there, how will that affect the mass of the products you know, after the reaction is completed? And so let's go ahead and do that. And for this time, I'm, just, I'm actually not going to read through the procedure. I'm just going to go through the table line by line and fill in the data that we need or that, the fill in the data that's asked for in the table. So let's go ahead and give that a shot. The first line in the table is the mass of the balloon. So I have my balloon. I'm going to turn my balance on. And 
3.11. Let me make sure it's all the way on there. Yep, 3.11. So I'm just going to write balloon 3.11 grams. Much of the rest of the procedure is similar with a few differences. So let's go ahead and get started. The second thing to get is the mass of the weigh boat uh, plus, or the, I'm sorry, the mass of the weigh boat. So the mass of the weigh boat is line A, that's 2.04. Line B is the weigh boat and baking soda. And taking these measurements, it's cool to think about was taking these 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 you know very precise mass measurements was you know a relatively new thing in this you know where we're starting in the late 1700s, um, and a whole bunch of amazing information came out of it. So 7.20 B. 7.20, 7.20 grams. Okay, so calculate the mass of the baking soda plus the, uh, of the baking soda. I can do that later. The mass of the flask is line D. That's 119.53, a little bit different than before, but you're gonna see those variations. Line E is the mass of the, mass of the flask plus the vinegar. So again, I want about 25 grams of vinegar. So I'm going to shoot for like 144. Again, you can do plus or minus five grams of vinegar. I ended up with 144.22. So that is line E, 144.22. F is a calculation, G is a calculation. H is mass of the flask plus the product of the reaction plus a balloon after the reaction. So let's go ahead and start the reaction. So to do that, I'm gonna put the baking soda in the balloon and we we'll try not to spill any, which is not easy. Okay, so I'm gonna wrap the balloon over the mouth over the mouth of the flask, and when I'm ready to get started, I'm gonna shake the baking soda out of the balloon down into the vinegar, and we'll see what happens. I'm gonna stop the video now. Your job is to finish this reaction, take all the data that you that you that that, that, that you can run the calculations and see what conclusions you can, you can make about the change or, or maybe there's not a change in mass before reaction, after reaction. And be interested to, to hear your interpretations of you know, if there's a difference when there's a balloon on the flask and when there's a balloon not on the flask. So, okay, I'll see you in the landing video.